The absolute fuck was that from Manchester United? A 2 0 defeat. 2 fucking nil. A home to Burnley. Jesus fucking Christ. I just don't know where the fuck to start with that, to be honest. I mean, Jesus Christ, the starting lineup, I was gobsmacked when I saw it. Poor defending from the first goal. The fuck was Harry Maguire doing? He's supposed to be captain, he's supposed to be leader of Manchester United. And I had my reservations when we did sign Harry Maguire. I wasn't sure that Manchester United had got that real elite leader at the back that Manchester United so dearly craved, to be honest. And I did say that when we actually, in a video when we signed him, is he that much better than what Manchester United have currently got? And we don't have any world-class centre-backs. That was my biggest question, Mark, over Harry Maguire when he came in, in the summer. And, I'm, and he's still yet to win me over. Nowhere near worth anywhere near that £80 million price tag, which is why I said in the summer. And I think that there surely was better options for me out there at centre-half. I mean, partnering Phil Jones, though, Jesus Christ, how the fuck is that cunt still getting game time for Manchester United? Really don't understand how the hell that geezer's still getting game time for Manchester United, which doesn't help Harry Maguire playing at the back with, with a fucking idiot like that. I mean, Lindelof hasn't been much better, but certainly is better than Jones. And two on Zabitz, unfortunately, he's injured as well, so he can't play. So normally Phil Jones wouldn't play, but how the hell Bay isn't st starting ahead of him? I mean, they could have he could have played in some other clo behind closed doors games, something surely to get him fit enough so that we didn't have to play Phil Jones ever again, period. Should never play for Manchester United again. That is, that is period. It shouldn't. Now, midfield, obviously, we couldn't do a lot more with Matic and Fred in there, I mean, but the forward line, Jesus fucking Christ, Manchester United, what are we doing? All right, one matter, I was happy to see one matter in there, he's performed well recently when he's played, but obviously he's getting past his best, which is a shame, but he is about the best player in that attacking midfield role that Manchester United have got, unless we want to try Angel Gomez, but this geezer, Solskjaer just doesn't want to, to play Gomez, and I, I, I don't understand why. Lingard's been absolute horseshit all season, Andreas Pereira, don't get me fucking started with that bloke. I mean, in a forward three tonight, and Jesus Christ, was he bad. Should never fucking play for Manchester United again, that useless cunt. I mean, Jesus Christ, how the fuck is he starting ahead of Mason Greenwood in that front three? When I saw that front three, I bet Burnley were laughing their socks off because that doesn't, doesn't, I mean, look like goals anywhere in that front three, to be honest, apart from Anthony Martial, but... To be honest, he's a useless cunt himself. Has had so many chances for Manchester United. Yes, he's, he's a player that scores brilliant goals, scored some fantastic goals for Manchester United, but nowhere near consistent enough. And the, pretty much one person that's only coming out and saying this is Roy Keane. I mean, so many fans do love love Anthony Martial, but just isn't consistent enough. Isn't a Manchester United player, and would would struggle to get in a number of top sides around Europe. He really would hasn't taken his game to that elite level, which he should be at his age. He should be banging goals in left, right and centre. And that is the worry. With no Marcus Rashford, who the hell's carrying that can of goals? No one. That's two games now since since Rashford's been out and we haven't scored. It is, I mean, Jesus Christ, one goal in three games. That one against Wolves. Rashford only played about 10 minutes in that game, if that. And it is real worrying signs for Manchester United. I mean... But the, a lot of this blame, I mean, I've, I've, to be honest, I've, I've backed Oli quite a lot this season, to be honest, and I've backed managers in the past till it has got really bad that Manchester United have had to, got re had to get rid of managers. I mean, but this guy has done himself no favours in this game again. I mean, I've been critical of some of his starting lineups, and tonight was really bad. I know he's got injuries, I know we've got a thin squad, but... Not starting Mason Greenwood up front instead in the forward three instead of Andreas Pereira. That is just ridiculous, to be honest. It may not have changed the, the, the whole game. I mean, we may not have won this game. We may, probably would have still lost 2-0, if I'm being honest. But he is a level, a much higher level player than, than Andreas Pereira. It's just ridiculous to see. I mean, what the fuck has Pereira done this season? I mean, scored like one goal. What? How many assists? Done crazy fucking jack shit. Just a, a, a very average player. And I mean, we don't even, I mean, no one even knows what his best position on the pitch is. That is how fucking awful he is. Sometimes he plays in the number 10 position. Sometimes he plays in a, in a central midfield position. Sometimes he plays out on the right, right, left, wherever he fucking plays. 
he's always always fucking useless and we just we're just carrying players like that i mean you can't put too much of the blame on daniel james up front as well because he's come to the league it's his first season in the premier league but shouldn't really be starting the amount of games he has started this season was was for me always coming into Manchester United as a squad player. We weren't signing a, a prospect like Eden Hazard, or Gareth Bale, that ilk of player, were we? It, I mean, he's it, going to have a certain ceiling, and that isn't going to be a starter every single week for me for Manchester United. 20, 30 games at most a season is what probably Daniel James's level. I mean, you couldn't expect big things from him coming from the Championship his first season. He will improve and will probably be a decent squad player for Manchester United. But we need better forward players up front than that. They're consistently banging in goals, assists, creating chances. When, when we haven't got anything up front, we're fucking absolutely threadbare. Changes are going to have to be made for that game against Tramier or Watford on Sunday. They really are. I, I mean... I, I, I don't see what the problem of giving Angel Gomez, Tui Chong a run out in that game. I really don't. Certainly if it's Tramier, because what the fuck? Is, uh, I mean, what the fuck are the rest of these players doing? They're not hacking it. I mean, the likes of Lingard coming on in the, later in the second half and Luke Shaw. What the fuck was that about? I mean, Jesus Christ, you're trying to get back into a game. The game probably is dead, but you're bringing them to one. I mean, when you've got Angel Gomez on the bench that maybe could create something, maybe could score a goal. But if you don't give him a try, how the fuck are you ever going to know if he's going to be any good enough for the first team? Because Lingard has done fuck all this season. And no point bringing fucking Luke Shaw on, is there, at that sort of time. I mean, the only thing I was a bit surprised was that he brought Mason Greenwood on a bit earlier today at half-time. I mean, most of his substitutions have been so late in games that they've had hardly any chance to impact the game. But... We've ended up losing the game still anyway, but I, I just don't know where we turn. I mean, the, the Oli out brigade are really out in force. I don't see many people still backing this guy. And to be honest, I'll be surprised if he's there come come the end of the season. He will probably part ways with Manchester United. But I don't, I don't see it happening now before the end of the season. I really don't. I think, to be honest, who's going to come in now and turn this around? I mean, are we going to get Pochettino in? Are we going to get Allegri in? I don't see too much is going to change now. We're not going to get in that Champions League spot, so we might as well just fuck the season off and go again next season. Get a new manager in, get some, try and get some new players in, try and do something. But I, I don't know where Manchester United are going to ever turn this problem around because a new manager might come in and the same shit might happen with buying players, not good enough players. They may be a level better manager, but and they may get better out of the squad, but at the end of the day, if you don't bring huge level of play, playing staff into Manchester United, a huge level better than what we've got, then we're never going to get much better on the pitch, are we? I mean, the manager's only going to do so much more with these players, but I just don't see the tactics of what Oli's trying to implement in this team. Players just seem lost out there. There is no leadership out there. There is fuck all out there for Manchester United on that pitch. It just looks like a bunch of players that are fucking on that pitch, just thrown on the pitch and don't know what they're doing to me. It, it is a bit worrying, it really is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you think Manchester United should sack Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now and bring someone in between now and the end of the season? I mean, it would be a bit of a shock to me if we did that. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.